in order to simplify a function the expression using that algebraic rules it is going to be really hectic uh, maybe you might have seen that previously i was trying to do you know simplification in two methods and it is very very difficult to you know again trace back and take other path once you are done with the you know shortest uh, once you got a expression proving that it is minimal is difficult first of all because we got a we got uh, you know four literal term or four uh, terms uh, expression and now we don't know whether to say that it is minimal or not and now we have to see, we have to see all but all possible minimal expressions therefore minimization using these uh, formulas and then algebraic methods and applying them some rules it is all going to be very very hectic so a better convenient method has been introduced and it is called kmap so kmap is particularly convenient to represent the function as well as to minimize it it lends itself so that you know we could easily visualize the function and then we could easily minimize it and in exam gate exam they'll give you either three variables or four variables and for three and four variables kmap is the best way to minimize it there are other ways also we shall see it but kmap is the best one so let's let's write some theory let's get used to the terminology what i suggest you is i'll read out the you know points you just keep pausing it and you write the theory this theory will be useful to help you in solving the questions definitely so please write it down and then later you can revise it easily so because it entire thing you know it is going to be bit confusing from now on but but let me tell you this is the easiest topic you could think of in computer science you could easily solve this and get four marks question easily okay let's start with this k map the algebraic procedure of combining various terms and applying them the rules becomes very tedious as the number of variables increases which means as the size of the expression becomes very large then the algebraic method obviously becomes very very tedious right the met the map method provides a systematic method for combining the terms and deriving the minimal expression so the map is actually designed in such a way that it lends itself uh, for, uh, readily for the simplification a k map is a modification of the truth table so k map is act actually a kind of truth table because in truth table what did you see we find out all the combinations and then we assign the truth value similarly here also in a k map for every combination there will be a designated cell in the designated cell we, are, we write the truth value therefore k map is a kind of uh, truth table even though it looks different right is a truth table in which the arrangement of combinations is particularly convenient for minimization what is the difference between truth table and this one is in truth table you cannot directly look at the truth table and keep on combining the terms but in this k map you can look at the table that k that map and you could combine the terms and keep on minimizing it that is the main difference truth table and and k map both are almost same only difference is in truth table you cannot apply minimization because it doesn't lend itself the format there is different but in k map it is actually suited for minimization and now every n variable uh, map consists of two power n cells which means if we have n variables then how many terms are there mean terms 2 power n if you have three variables eight terms four variables 16 terms every n variable map contains of 2 power n cells representing all possible combinations of variables for example a three variable map has this big right eight cells and similarly a four variable map has 16 cells right so uh, and one more thing many many students when in the classroom when i teach this they get confused in one small thing see this whenever you are filling the rows ha huh, when i am putting the numbers about the table uh, these tables okay watch it i'll just explain you one by one now this cell so whenever you form a table let us say this is a three variable map which means this is used to simplify any function which is containing only three variables like x y and z and each cell is going to represent one particular value for example this cell is actually representing one mean term what is the mean term see this it is x it is y it is z which means row this column corresponds to x value and y value and uh, row corresponds to z it it is not a rule that you should always put x and y in the row and z in the column you could as well put as you know x here and then y z it is not an issue but then when you are when you are have any have fixed up on some convention try to follow it when you are trying to filling it which means when you are trying to take the mean terms and write it there just follow the convention if you have used x and y then corresponding element should be made you know uh, made there right and now see this this particular element this cell 0 actually corresponds to the mean term x prime y prime z prime how 
see this x and y are 0 0 therefore x prime y prime and z is 0 therefore z prime and if you look at this cell this particular cell if you want to know what which mean term corresponds to this cell just look at this combination so x is 1 y is 0 and z is 0 oh sorry z is 1 so this cell corresponds to x y 1 0 and z is 1 so what is it x y prime z right so that is how you could represent each cell so all the eight cells why they why are there eight cells is if you have a three variable functions the number of min terms present in three variables is eight and each one of them can assume either one or zero independently depending on the function we are going to fill this and i have written the numbers just to just for the convenience but then i suggest you not to by heart them so one mistake what you might do while constructing this uh, you know uh, k map is here it is 0 0 0 1 then remember it, it is 1 0 right what people try to write is 0 0 0 1 and immediately they will write 1 0 and then 1 1 that is wrong so keep this in mind it should be 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 why is this so i'll discuss that shortly two cells should have only one one uh, one literal changing what is that i'll tell you later in soon uh, so just remember that 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 has to be used it is not 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 you don't do that and next thing is here also the same thing it is a four variable k map if the number of variables are four then how many uh, how many uh, you know min terms are possible 2 power 4 which is 16 right w x y z and all of them can be 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 and each cell can is representing one min term for example let us say this cell if you want to know what this cell is representing just see what wx combinations for that are the wx combinations are 0 1 and yz combinations are 1 1 so w is nothing but 0 is nothing but w prime and 1 is nothing but x and yz are nothing but 1 and 1 therefore yz so w prime x y z this is represented by that right so the numbers which I am writing in these cells are not of any significance. Don't read them, don't by heart them. For the just of, for this explanation, I am just giving you that. Uh, so don't by heart them. What will be present inside these cells is the truth values for that particular uh, you know for that particular uh, min term. What is the truth value associated? That is what I am going to write it there. Okay. We shall see more about this. I'll explain you. And we, after seeing this, we shall see some questions and then uh, we shall go into depth about how to solve all the questions in this. Watch this. The function value associated with a particular combination is entered in the corresponding cell. So once we have the K map, then go to the corresponding cell which represents that particular uh, min term and we are going to put that number, I mean put that truth value. For example, look at this one. Let us say, let's not write these function values inside. <coughs> let's say it is a three variable k map right and assume that the function is like this the function is sigma 3 comma 7 which means we have two min terms and uh, these two min terms are having uh, value 1 and the other other uh, min terms are having value 0 the function is having two min terms which means in this function only these two min terms are given a value of 1 and other are given 0 so what is uh, 3? 3 is, you can write it like this, right? x prime y z and what is 7? x y z, right? Therefore only in these two cells we are going to put 1 and in the remaining cells we are going to put 0. Now what is x prime y z? x prime y z means, you know, 0, 1, 1. So 0, 1, 1 is 0, 1, 1, this one. This is 3 and 7 is x y z. x y z means all are 1. So x y z which is nothing but this one right so that is how these two are represented that is the meaning of the first one the function value associated with a particular combination is entered in a corresponding cell which means every function is going to have min terms and the min terms are going to have value ones and in that particular cell we are going to put one next one is cycle code is used in the combination as column and row heading so what is cycle code is whenever we have a cycle code it means that we are actually changing or if you have a cycle code the property of cycle code is between any two successive numbers there will be only one bit change for example see this 
if I write 0 0 and from 0 0 if I change to 0 1 if this is next number in the cycle code only one bit is changing right and if I write 1 1 check this from this to this only one bit is changing what is the one bit the first bit second bit remains same and if I change from 1 1 to 1 0 and again one bit is changing just check this here from 0 to 1 only one bit is changing and again from 0 to 1 only one bit is changing and again from 1 to 0 only one bit is changing right that is called a cycle code again uh, at the end I will talk about cycle codes in detail but for now understand that if I have a cycle code between any two numbers adjacent numbers there is only one bit change just keep that in mind right so what is that they are saying is cycle code is used in the combination as row and uh, column heading so look at this row heading 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. if you look at any successive numbers only one bit changes that has a practical significance here i'll talk about it and even look at the row row uh, 0, 1, which is nothing but only one bit changing now here also you look at it in the four in the four variable map look at the column headings 0, 0, 0, 1, only one bit is changing and from 0, 1 to 1, 0, only one bit is changing and from 1, 1 to 1, 0, only one bit is changing the same thing is happening in the row values also right so watch this so what is that what does that mean we are going to change only a single value either in the row or in the column right whenever we are going from one 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 row to the next row like that because of this we have uh, we have some you know good property there because of these codes what are the codes cycle codes two cells which have a common side so what is two cells which have a common side is look at these two cells this cell and this cell these two are having a common side this is the common side right that is what they are talking because of these rules two cells which have a common side correspond to combinations that differ by the value of just a single variable so what is the meaning of it is just look at these two these two cells are having a common side because of this property the these two min terms just differ in just one term so if you write what it is it is nothing but x prime y z prime this is x prime y z prime and if you write this it is nothing but x y z prime right now these two differ only in one cell what is this cell here these two are same i mean what is the variable differ in only one variable right so y and z prime y and z prime both are same only difference is x and x prime got it and now these two cells play a major role in the simplification process so because of this difference we are able to simplify it why is this k map really suitable for uh, simplification procedure is because we are having uh, you know cycle codes representing the headings and because of that two cells which are adjacent are going to have only one variable difference because of which we can apply the simplification rule like this see this now when we have only one variable changing like this we can pull out the common variable side so what what is that we can pull out y z prime we can pull it out then we can combine happily x prime and x then what is it it is nothing but one so simplification has happened only because of this rule what is the rule the headings are cycle codes and now they are differing two cells which are adjacent or just differing in one variable right so these two cells play a major role in simplification procedure because they can be combined by means of the rules this one so when there are two min terms which are differing by only one variable and that variable can be eliminated isn't it therefore by combining two cells i can eliminate one variable what if i combine four cells in four cells how many how many will be differing is two if i combine four cells i can eliminate two okay we shall see it uh, don't worry we shall go step by step so what is this entire procedure is now i am able to draw the something called as k map and k map has an inherent character that the row headings or column headings are going to be cyclic codes because of which if there are two cells which are adjacent to each other which are having a common side then definitely we can combine these two cells and we can minimize the expression how by applying the rule which we have just seen right